Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers. I'm Chris McQueen. Now these days I'm a writer, but see for years I worked on the tills in a shop. It's only recently occurred to me though that I don't know anything about the people whose faces are on the money, people whose faces I've like fondled every day, do you know what I mean? And it's got me thinking about what makes someone noteworthy. These are just some of the Scots who've made it onto our banknotes through the years. Apart from the usual suspects like Walter Scott, Robbie Burns and Robert the Bruce, I'm ashamed to say I've got no idea who half of them are. I'm sure there must be some amazing stories behind these notes just waiting to be told. I mean, when you look a wee bit closer, this note is like a treasure trove. I just want to find out all about like, the meanings behind the poetry and places, all the wee symbols, what it all means and where they all come from. This is the first bank note that really caught my eye. It features the writer and poet Nan Shepherd against the backdrop of her beloved Cairngorms. Before this fiver was released in 2016, the Royal Bank of Scotland's notes had remained unchanged for 30 years. To find it Mel, my first stop is the Edinburgh-based design agency who masterminded the team behind its creation. Where did you start designing money? How, how does that come about? Where do you begin? We had exactly the same reaction when they came to us because it's not the normal project that, that you would get as any sort of designer. This is a sort of once in a lifetime um, project, so there's not, there's not a lot of precedent. The really strong message from the, the Scottish public was that they didn't want notes that celebrated greatness in the sense of castles and bridges okay. and the, the sort of traditional greatness, but they wanted the greatness of everyday magic, oh, yeah. of ordinary people, of real life in Scotland, not the sort of shortbread tin oh, yeah. version. So that was a fabulous start because then we already had a whole list of contents. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the contents you wouldn't necessarily put in a bank. No, it was quite, <laughs> yeah. it was quite funny. So yeah. the best thing I think was square sausage. Um, exactly. Quite difficult to represent, <laughs> but they wanted a midgy. A midgy, a midgy, midgy came out. Did the midgie make it onto the note? No? The midgie did make oh, it onto yes. the note. Oh, yes, brilliant. And you spot the midgie? Let me see. Oh, there you go. That's right. So he's life size there. That's, That's the actual, actual size, size wow. of a midgie. Wow. What do you think makes someone noteworthy? Like, who would you have on a banknote? I think it's an impossible choice. Mm. But I think I'd like to see somebody on it that I knew. You know, somebody like my dad, my dad's a beekeeper, so if anybody oh, okay. in the village has a swarm of bees, he's the one that they phone and he goes and he takes the bees out of people's houses. He's wow. taught so many people to keep bees and he's putting that magic back into the community. To somebody who does something like that, I think their magic needs to be celebrated. I should make so. So just before you go, mm -hmm. can I show you a secret? Yeah, I, I, I'm up for that. <laughs> you need to come with me into the dark room. Aye, 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 I'm Let's up for that. It. I'll get a go. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, here's a secret. Oh, no way. I had no idea that the notes did that. That's phenomenal. Look at that. Isn't it Look at the colours. I know. So that's the skin of the mackerel, which yeah. if you look at it in real life, it does sort of... It's going to shimmer like that. Yeah, it well. is kind of iridescent. Yeah. And the, the poem, which is in Gaelic on the note, that's the English translation there oh, in the UV, so we've, wow. got, we've got the secret secret translation. Mm -hmm. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great surprise, eh? Uh, 